Hello everybody, we are back here on Hunting Simulator 2 and today I figured we would try out a couple guns that I have not used yet and I decided to purchase the most expensive rifle in the game and give it a try to see how it performs. Let's go ahead and grab it. It is the 85 Carbon Wolf by Seiko and I decided to get it in 30-06 and 9.3 but today we're going to be using the 30-06 because I feel like that's one of the most balanced calibers in the game. It's very strong, very, very good caliber. And then I also went ahead and bought one, another 243, the 85 Bavarian 243. I already had the 338 version, but I bought the 243 version. So we're going to be using that as our lower caliber weapon. And I think what we're going to do is go out into either the Chihuahuan Desert or the Bandera region because I do want to get a big pronghorn. So let's go ahead and look at what animals we can find at each of these. So we can get pronghorn, mule deer, red foxes, bighorn, turkey, wild boar, rabbit, and pheasant. And then in the Bandera region, we can get elk, whitetail, mule deer, pronghorn, bobcats, bison, bighorn sheep, cougar, coyotes, and rabbits. So I think we're actually gonna do one hunt on each of these, just so we get a variety of species and a variety of scenery. So we're gonna start out with the Chihuahuan Desert and see what we can do there. All right, so we're in the Chihuahuan Desert now. And the first thing I gotta say is, this gun looks really clean. I love the carbon fiber. It looks so nice. It's kind of difficult to see in the current lighting, but it looks really clean. But anyway, here is the 85 Bavarian 243. It also looks pretty good. Not too bad at all. So we're going to go out and give these guns a try and see if the most expensive gun in the game is actually worth it. Oh, real quickly, I need to correct myself. I believe I just said most expensive gun in the game. I meant most expensive rifle in the game. So just wanted to make sure I cleared that up. But yeah, let's go out and see if we can bag an animal. Oh my gosh, those are far away. 1600 meters but we got some pronghorn it looks like there is no way i'd be able to make that shot but i'm very tempted to try it just to see if it's possible because that is a ridiculously far shot but there is always that chance that we could hit it there's always that chance and so i think you know i think we're gonna give it a shot even though the chances of this hitting are very unlikely. We're going to go for a shot and see what we can do. Oh wow, we actually can't even see them. They're not even rendered. So I guess we do need to get a little bit closer. We'll run up to 1,000 meters and then try for a shot. Alright, so we got the pronghorn right there. Let's go ahead and get a range on them. I could not see them until right now, so we're a lot closer than I wanted to be. But a 500 meter shot is still a decently long one. Definitely not the 1,000 meters I wanted to try out, but they're just not in a very good spot. They were kind of behind a hill and in a dip, which made it so I couldn't really see them. But we're still going to attempt this 500 meter shot and see if we can hit it. I honestly don't even know where I need to aim for this, so this is going to be a learning experience. Alright, here we go. This is a good angle. The one in the back looks to be the biggest one. Oh, oh we nailed it. Oh my gosh. That's one thing that the Chihuahuan Desert is perfect for, is these long range shots. Really makes it so you can test your marksman skills. And we got that one down. I don't know where it ran off to, but uh, we'll just look on the map and it should show. For those of you that did not know, you can actually check on your map. If you have it turned on in your settings, it will show where animals die, which can be very helpful. All right, here we go. Here is that pronghorn. Now this one's either an adult or a mature. It's one of the two based off of those horns right there. But with the pronghorn, every time that I've thought it was gonna be a mature, it ended up being a adult. And this one is no different. 
It's also an adult. They made the adult pronghorn look so big. And I haven't even seen a mature one yet. They seem to be relatively rare. Well, anyway, I did see a tent as we were coming over here. So I think we're going to try and go get that if I can remember where I saw it. All right, so we got this tent right here. I'm honestly convinced that this map is just completely empty. We've only seen those pronghorns. So I'm going to fast travel uh, probably up to this corner and we'll see if we can see something here. If not, I'll probably just go over to the Bandera region because I know for a fact I'll have better luck over there. That map in general is just a better one to go to, especially when you want to see a lot of stuff. And I'm stuck, actually. That means I'm going to have to quit the game. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we got loose. That's good. Otherwise, I would have had to just exit the game and we would have actually lost the pronghorn. So that's good that we were able to get loose. Let's look around a little bit more and see if we can find something now. There we go. Looks like another pronghorn out at 900 meters. So I guess we'll see what we can do with this little pronghorn. I don't know if it's a male or a female, so I do need to check. All right, before it goes behind the hill, let's take a shot at it and see if we can hit it. There we go. We got a kill shot. There is another animal there, though. Or actually, that's the same one. All right, awesome. So that was about a 430 or a 440 meter shot. Not as long as the last one, but still a very impressive distance. I'm really liking this gun at long range. I honestly think it might be worth the 6,000 credits that you will be set back for purchasing this. Let's go ahead and take this Desert Bighorn male at around 380 meters or 330. I can't remember what it said, but there we go. That is a dead Bighorn. This gun's definitely really good. I do like it. I don't know if it's better than any of the other rifles because I really don't know what the comparison even would be. From what I've seen, all the guns, they obviously sound really what sound really good, they look very sleek, and they all seem to perform pretty well, but it's very hard to determine which one's the best. Like honestly, when it comes to aesthetics, I'd say this is worth the price, but when it comes to performance, I kind of like the Model 70 Winchester uh, Extreme Weather better. It seemed to perform just the same, if not even better. And it's one of the cheapest rifles in the game, so I don't know if I can really say that this rifle is the best rifle in the game. Although I am enjoying it, I still think that the Model 70 Extreme Weather is better, so if you're going to be getting a new gun, I would get that one. It seems like a much more solid purchase. But here is that Bighorn Sheep, its head actually twisted around. But that's a mature one. So let's go ahead and bag that. I don't believe we have a mature desert bighorn sheep. So that's actually pretty cool. We have the regular bighorn, but not the desert bighorn. So yeah, that's a new addition to the lodge. Now let's go and get this pronghorn. I didn't really get a good look at it because we did shoot it from pretty far away. So I don't know if this was a decent one or not. We're going to have to find out once we go up and grab it. Ah, this does look to be a pretty small one. Yeah, it is just a young one. That's kind of what I figured, but... I was kind of hoping for a bigger one, but... In the distance, it didn't look super big. Alright, so we are back here at the cabin. I think we're going to go ahead and claim all these animals and then head over to the Bandera region. Because I usually have much better luck over there. So this is the pronghorn. We'll go ahead and sell that. We will keep the Desert Bighorn, because that is a really nice one, and sell the other pronghorn. So let's go ahead and return to Lodge. All right, so there's the Desert Bighorn. It actually is slightly different looking than the regular one, but I feel like the only difference is coloration, maybe? Yeah, I think the only thing they did was make the face a little bit darker, so... I'm kind of unfortunate that they only did, like, a slight minor change, but... Alright, so we're in the Bandera region now, and I see a bison 
at 1500 meters this is literally the first thing I see after I leave the lodge and I'm able to spot it but I can't actually see it with my scope so we definitely are gonna have to get closer but we have to get that thing because they give quite a bit of cash so it's definitely something we want to go take out so it sounds like we actually have a deer pretty close to us this is not the bison that we came over here for but if we get a shot at it we'll take it because I don't see the bison yet and I'm pretty sure it was at least a few hundred meters away from us so let's go ahead and call this deer in and see if we can get a clean shot on it oh my gosh it's actually an elk it's actually an elk I just need it to turn well it's down the hill now so we will have to kind of move and just hope that we don't spook it because we are very close it would suck if we were to spook it now I think okay I do have an elk caller with me no 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 get to the shot get the shot out oh there we go I'm honestly really surprised that we managed to get our gun out before it ran but I'm very happy that we did and I'm kind of surprised that we dropped it too I didn't think we'd hit brain in that much of a hurry but we did so let's go ahead and grab this guy it is just an adult so not a mature or anything like that we already have a mature though so we don't really need to find one let's go ahead and try to find that bison now that we got that elk down uh, we actually have another elk there is that a that is a male too and I whiffed Ooh, we hit it that time and it will die from that shot that is two elk down now we just got to find the bison as we've been trying to do for the past about uh, 10 to 15 minutes and still no signs of him but hopefully soon all right here's that elk it kind of died in a little dip in the terrain but there we go another adult elk which I'm not too mad about because those are decent money not the worst cash in the game for sure but I don't see this bison I've pretty much lost where it is hopefully we can find it soon though because that is the main target for coming over here and I just haven't been able to see it I don't know where it went off to oh my gosh it's right there actually I did not expect it to be that close uh, that was a kill shot let's see if we can get another in it just to make sure it goes down quick all right that put it down so that is interesting I honestly feel like the 30-06 might be stronger than 338 because when I was using the 338 I was hitting the bison right in the side of its chest and it was not doing anything to it it seemed but now I hit it with the 30-06 and both of the hits that we have are fatal hits so I don't know we'll have to go up and see what we hit with this 30-06 but it definitely did a number on it so I think honestly I might just continue to use the 30-06 instead of using 338 I feel like the 30-06 is a much more reliable caliber let's go ahead and grab this bison and we did hit it in the lungs this one is only a young bison but that is still nice so I think we're gonna go ahead and try to find a tent we actually have one next to us so let's go back to the cabin and sell this bison along with the other trophies that we got all right here we are at the tent let's go ahead and fast travel down to the lodge and then we will sell all of these animals this should be a decent amount of cash because elk are around 1,000 each and the bison is I think 4,000 so let's go ahead and sell these we get 800 for that 
800 for that and ooh, it's actually 5,000 for a bison. So that's a lot of cash We'll go ahead and sell that and I just heard Something else out here. I Don't know what that was though. I'm pretty sure it was a big horn though But I guess we'll find out in a minute Ooh, there we go. I think it's a pronghorn actually It is and a bobcat Ooh. All right, there we go only took us two shots Let's see if we can see the bobcat too. I don't think we will though Because those little guys are pretty small and fast Let's just go get our pronghorn. There we are just a young one that one does have bigger horns than the other young one that we killed, so I guess that's a plus. They do have a little bit of variety. Let's go ahead and head back to the lodge now. I think we're done now. I don't think there's anything else around here that we need to shoot. Although I would happily take something else if it happens to show up. But I think that is everything that was around this area. Alright, we are back here in the lodge, and I think what I'm going to do first is we will go refill our licenses because we do have a couple that we used up actually it might just be the bison one looks like it's just the bison one that we use but I do want to go through the weapons and pick out a new one to use but I think what we'll do is we'll get this really nice looking speedline gator since it does come in 30 out 6 and then I do want to get a second gun you know, I really wish they had handguns in the game, but unfortunately they don't. But I guess we could get this, the Marl SF Big Game by Browning. And of course we will get it in 30 out 6 because it seems to be the best overall caliber. So yeah, that is absolutely awesome. We'll have to try out those guns in the next video. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to check it out next time I post a Hunting Simulator 2 video. But I think that's going to be it for today. We did accomplish something. We got ourselves a mature desert bighorn sheep. So that added one more animal to our little trophy lodge here. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you are new here and you are liking what you see, consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on. Also, if you want to help the channel grow, be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better. But that's going to be it for me. Peace, my dudes. I hope you all have a fantastic day.